Judy, Don, Michael, and Benjamin, please help me welcome our first recipient. He's a man who truly knows resilience. He's the host of the documentary, Stay Alive, and the podcast, My Wake Up Call. Our first awardee is a psychiatrist, a consultant who brings his expertise to support Health Corps and his curriculum. Please welcome my friend, Dr. Mark Golston. Mark, privileged to have you up here. God bless you for what you do. You don't know me. You know Martha Stewart? You know Jordan Peterson? If you're in the entertainment industry, you know Alan Grubman. I'm up here because they thought perhaps I could relate to you and you could relate to me. I'm privileged to be on the board of advisors and I'm truly honored to be the first recipient of the Dr. W. Mark Warfel Award. And I think I joined the whole audience in just feeling for your loss. To lose a son that young is not a good thing. What really matters most to me about Health Corps is it helped me to overcome a deep feeling of shame. Shame. You know what shame is. Shame is when you do something or you fail to do something that's out of alignment with who you believe yourself to be. And I was feeling a deep shame. And let me know if you can relate to it. Do you ever walk by a homeless person who's not faceless because you recognize his face, but he's nameless because you don't make eye contact. You avoid eye contact. If you're having a good day, maybe you'll give him $5, maybe you'll give him $10, but then you hope he won't hit on you. Well, that's happened to me on more occasions than I care to admit. One day, I was leaving a studio after having done an amazing interview where I felt I nailed it, and I passed this homeless man, and I'm just strutting. And as I pass him, he said, hey, mister, and he briefly interrupted my self-congratulatory trance, and I looked at him, and he looked right through me, and he said, hey, mister, I wasn't always this way. I used to be a person. But I was still full of myself, so I just kept walking, and I walked to one of those abandoned buildings where you look into the, the darkened window and you see yourself, and I saw myself, and I looked at myself, and I said, you weren't always this way. You used to be a person. So I walked back to that homeless man. I apologized. I gave him $20 and I asked him his name. And he said, my name is Joe. And at that moment, I realized I had to do something to prevent this. And I thought the best way to prevent this was to find teenagers and give teenagers compassion, support, and most of all, hope so they don't grow up to be like Joe. And that's when I knew I had to join Health Corps. Because I've worked with the Health Corps volunteers, and when you reach into them, what you find out is what they're all about is giving hope to people who would otherwise grow up to be Joe. How could I not help? How could you not help? In your brochures, you have an envelope where you can make a donation. Every, every donation that each of you makes is going to take a teenager and prevent them from becoming Joe. And one last final word. If there are Joes in the audience, I want to apologize to you because I'm sure you're terrific people to grow up to be like. Thank you.